Greetings Poof friends, welcome back to another episode of Doki Doki Literature Club with me Poofy and um... Yeah, last time we uh, we found Sayori doing something that um, that isn't really healthy for you to do. And we also noticed something um, with a, a file. I'm gonna check that out later because I also noticed that Sayori is always scrambled right now and this too. So let's just hop in and see what uh, the, the new game will bring us. Uh, what? I can't read that. I see an annoying girl running toward me from the distance, waving her arms in the air like she's totally oblivious to any attention she might draw to herself. That girl is... Uh, my neighbor. A good friend since we were children. You know, the kind of friend you'd never see yourself making today, but it just kind of works out because you've known each other for so long. We used to walk to school together on days like this, but starting around high school she would oversleep more and more frequently, and I would get tired of waking up. But if she's going to chase me after But if she's going to chase after me like this, I almost feel better off running away. However, I just sigh and idle in front of the crosswalk and let Yelia catch up to me. What? What the fuck? It's an ordinary school day like any other. What just happened? Mornings are usually the worst. Being surrounded by couples and friend groups walking to school, I'm really... I do not know what I'm seeing. Meanwhile, I've always walked to school alone. No, no. Is the game changed? Well, obviously the game is changing, but... I always tell myself it's about time I meet some girls or something like that. But I have no motivation to join any clubs. The game is just continuing. I'm perfectly content just getting by on the average while spending my free time on games and anime. There's always the anime club, but it's not like there would be any girls in it anyway. The school day is as ordinary as ever and it's over before I know it. I'm confused. After I pack up my things, I stare blankly at the wall, looking for an ounce of motivation. Clubs. There really aren't any that interest me. Besides, most of them would probably be way too demanding for me to want to deal with. I guess I have no choice but to start with the anime club. Poofy? Could you not do that? Mo Monica? How the hell do you know me? Oh my goodness, I totally didn't expect you to see to see you here. Whoa. It's been a while, right? Yeah, it has. Monica smiles sweetly. I am very sorry, but my brains are trying to put it all together. But it just doesn't add up. We do know each other. Well, we rarely talk, but we were in the same class yes last year. Were we? Monica was probably the most popular girl in class. Smart, beautiful, athletic. Basically completely out of my league. So having her smile at me so genuinely feels a little... What did you come in here for anyway? Oh, I've just been looking for some supplies to use for my club. Do you know if there's any construction paper in here? Or markers? I guess you could check out the closet. You're in the debate club, right? Yeah, about that. I actually quit the debate club. Really? You quit? Yeah. To be honest, I can't stand all of the politics around the major. I'm reading. I'm reading, but I do not know what I'm reading. I'm just... I keep on thinking on what the game is trying to do with me. Well, it's fucking with my mind. And it's working. It feels like nothing but arguing about the budget and publicity and how to prepare for events. I'd much rather take something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. In that case, what club did you decide to join? Actually, I'm starting a new one. The Literature Club, what the fuck? Literature. It's 
sounds kind of dull. How many members do you have so far? Um, it's kind of embarrassing, but there were only three of us so far. No, there were four. It's really hard to find new members for something that sounds so boring. Well, I can see that. But it's really not boring at all, you know? Literature can be anything. Reading, writing, poetry. I mean, one of my members even keeps her manga collection in the clubroom. Wait, really? Yeah, it's funny, right? She always insists that manga is literature too. I mean, she's not wrong, I guess. Besides, a member's a member, right? Did Monica say she? Hmm. Hey, Poofy. By any chance, are you still looking for a club to join? Honestly, Monica, I do not know. I'm freaking confused. I mean, I guess so, but in that case, is there any chance you could do me a big favor? I won't ask you to join, but if you could at the very least visit my club, it would make me really happy. Please? Um, well, I guess I have no reason to refuse. Besides, how could I ever refuse something like Monica? Someone like Monica. <laughs> Sorry. Sure, I guess I could check it out. Ah, awesome. You're really sweet, Poofy, you know that? Yeah, I'm also highly confused, Monica, you know that? It's nothing, really. Shall we go, then? I'll look for the materials another time. You're more important. Why? I... Something is off about that. And thus, today marks the day I sold my soul to Monica and her irresistible smile. I timidly follow Monica across the school and upstairs, a section of the school I rarely visit, being generally used for third year classes and activities. Monica, full of energy, swings open the classroom door. I'm back. Why are you glitching out that much? And I brought a guest with me. What? A guest? Seriously, you brought a boy? Wait to kill the atmosphere. Don't be mean, Natsuki, but anyway, welcome to the club, Poofy. All words escape me in this situation. This club is full of incredibly cute girls. So let me guess. You're Monica's boyfriend, right? What? No, I'm not. The only thing I am is very confused. Natsuki, the girl with the sour attitude whose name is apparently Natsuki is one I don't recognize. Her small figure makes me think she's probably a first year. Uh, anyway, this is Natsuki, energetic as usual. And this is Yuri, the vice president. It's nice to meet you. Yuri, who appears comparably more mature and timid, seems to have a hard time keeping up with someone like Natsuki. What the hell? Yeah, it's nice to meet both of you. I mean, it's it's like a complete deja vu, because we've already played this, but it's different. So I ran into Poofy in the classroom and he decided to come check out the club. Isn't that great? Wait, Monica? Didn't I tell you to let me know in advance before you brought anyone new because you want to make cupcakes? I was going to, well, you know. Sorry, sorry. I didn't forget that, but I just happened to run into him. No, you didn't. You, you, you stalked me. In that case, I should at least make some tea, right? Yeah, that would be great. Why don't you come sit down, Poofy? The girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. Yuri walks to the corner of the room and opens the closet. There, we already... we have done this. Meanwhile, Monica and Natsuki sit across from each other. Only Sayori was there. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Monica. So, I know you didn't really plan on coming here, but we'll make sure you feel right at home, okay? As president of the Literature Club, it's my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. I'm surprised there aren't more people in the club yet. It must be hard to start a new club. You could put it that way. Not many people are very interested in putting out all the effort to start something brand new. Does this also mean that we have to do to make all the, the, the poems again. Especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention, like literature. 
You have to work hard to convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile. But it makes school events like the festival that much more important. I'm confident that we can all really grow this club before we graduate. Right, Natsuki? Well, I guess. Natsuki reluctantly agrees. Such different girls, all interested in the same goal. Monica must have worked hard just to find these two. Yuri returns to the table, carrying a tea set. She carefully places a teacup in front of each of us before setting down the teapot in the middle. You keep a whole tea set in this classroom? I don't think this happened. Don't worry, the teachers gave us permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? Uh, I guess. Uh, don't let yourself get intimidated, Yuri's just trying to impress you. It's working. Uh, that's not... Insulted, Yuri looks away. I meant that, y you know, I believe you. Well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but I at least enjoy tea. I'm glad. I'm still confused, because things seem the same, but a little bit different. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief, and that's confusing me. So, Poofy, what kinds of things do you like to read? Well, uh, considering how little I've read these past days, I don't really have a good way of answering that. Manga. I mutter quietly to myself, half joking. Mitsuki's head suddenly perks up. It looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. N not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that can change. What am I saying? I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. Anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri traces the rim of her teacup with her finger. My favorites are usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. This I rec recognize. I, Ben, it's, I cannot even speak well. And telling a good story in such a foreign world is equally impressive. Yuri goes on, clearly passionate about her reading. She seemed so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in, but it's obvious by the way her eyes light up, she finds her comfort in a world of books, not people. You know, I like a lot of things. Stories with deep psychological elements usually immerse me as well. Isn't it amazing how a writer can so deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imagination to completely throw you for a loop? Anyway, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. Ah, I read a horror book once, I did. Desperately grasp something I can relate to at a minimum level. At this rate, Yuri might as well be having a conversation with a rock. I'd, I'd expect that from you, Yuri. Why are you here, Monica? It suits your personality. Oh, is that so? Really? Is that so? Really, if a story makes me think or takes me to another world, then I really can't put it down. Surreal horror is often very successful at changing the way you look at the world, if only for a brief moment. I don't recognize this part. Ugh, I hate horror. Yeah, me too, Natsuki. Oh, why is that? Well, I just... Natsuki's eyes dart over to me for a split second. Never mind. That's right, you usually like to write about cute things, don't you, Natsuki? I do recognize this. What? What, what gives you that idea? You left a piece of scrap paper behind last club meeting. Wait, we, we entirely skipped the poem writing. It looked like you were working on a poem called Don't Say It Out Loud and Give That Back. Fine, fine. Natsuki, you read your own poems? Or did I speak too soon? Uh, well, I guess sometimes. Why do you care? I think that's impressive. Why don't you share them sometime? No. Natsuki averts her eyes. You wouldn't like them, how do you know? Uh, not a very confident writer yet. There are, there are things that are slightly different. I understand how Natsuki feels. Like their emotions, some some of the aspects of their emotions, they are a tad stronger right now. Sharing that level of writing takes more than just confidence. 
The truest form of writing is writing to oneself. You must be willing to open up your readers, exposing your vulnerabilities and showing even the deepest reaches of your heart. Do you have writing experience too, Yuri? Maybe if you share some of your work, you can set an example and help Natsuki feel comfortable enough to share hers. They don't know they are writing? They don't know that uh, they don't know them from each other? That's weird. I guess it's the same for Yuri. We all sit in silence for a moment. Hey, I just got an idea. How about this? Natsuki and Yuri look quizzically at Monica. Let's all go home and write a poem of our own. Oh, here we go again. The next time we'll meet, we'll share them with each other. That way, everyone is even. Uh, um. I mean, I thought it was a good idea. Well, I think you're right, Monica. We should probably start finding activities for all of us to participate in together. I did decide to take on the responsibility of Vice President after all. I need to do my best to nurture the club as well as its members. Besides, now that we have a new member, it seems like a good step for us to take. Do you agree? Yeah, do you agree as well, Poofy? Hold on, there's still one problem. Uh, what is that? Now that we've reached the most important topic, I bluntly come forth with what's been on my mind the entire time. I never said I would join this club. This is the same again. Monica may have convinced me to stop by, but I never made any decision. Still have other clubs to look at, and uh, I lose my train of thought. All three girls stare back at me with dejected eyes. B but I'm sorry, I thought. Uh, uh, the girls exchange glances before Monica turns back to me. I, I guess I need to tell you the truth, Boofy. The thing is, we don't have enough members yet to form an official club. This is different. We need four. And I've been trying really, really, really hard to find new members. And if we don't find one more before the festival... I'm defenseless against these girls. I'm getting a bit confused again because I'm, I'm trying to um, predict in my head what will happen. One of these girls will, will die. I'm, uh, Natsuki or Yuri will be the ones that, that are, um, that will die in this playthrough. How am I supposed to make a clear-headed decision when it's like this? I, I would feel terrible for letting everyone down in this situation. And besides, the club itself seems pretty relaxed. So if writing poems is the price I need to pay in order to spend every day with these beautiful girls, right. Okay, I've decided then. I'll join the literature club. One by one, the girls' eyes light up. Oh my goodness, really? Do you really mean that, Poofy? Yeah. Could be fun, right? You really did scare me for a moment. I mean, if you really just left after all this, it, I would be super pissed. Poofy, I'm so happy. I'm still confused. You can become an official club now. Huzzah! Thank you so much for this. You're really amazing. I'll do everything I can to give you a great time, okay? Yeah, well, <laughs> Monica, everything. Yeah, thanks, I guess. Okay, everyone. I think with that, we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. Everyone remember tonight's assignment. Write a poem to bring to the next meeting so we can all share. Monica looks over at me once more. Puffy, look forward to seeing how you express yourself. Uh, uh, yeah. Can I really impress the class star Monica with my mediocre writing skills? I already feel the anxiety welling up inside me. Meanwhile, the girls continue to chit chat as Yuri cleans up the tea set. Guess I'll be on my way then. Okay. See you tomorrow then. I can't wait. Alright. And I'm gonna continue this next time. So I want to thank you guys for watching. And I hope to see you then. For now. I, Confused Poofy, salute you. <laughs>